Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time and boy do I have an important episode of Ignition Time for you. It's a brand new day and in this episode of Ignition Time, I'm going to talk to you about the showdown. The Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer declares that Democrats will fight for the HEROES Act and he issues an ominous warning that you have to hear to believe. Also towards the end of this video, I'll tell you about the thing that really keeps me motivated to continue to provide you with high quality information and high production value with the content on my channel channel. With that being said, let's get started. I believe this is a game-changing announcement from the Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and he was recently interviewed on MSNBC. Now before I get into the interview, I know that 1% of my subscribers will say, this is fake news, this is fake news. Yay! And that's the wrong approach towards this because all the elected officials will say the same thing regardless of which channel they are on because they have the same ideologies, the same talking points. So don't let yourself get distracted by the source of the information. It's important where the information is coming from because this is not subjective. This is not an opinion piece. These are actual comments from elected officials. So the Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer was interviewed on MSNBC and he was asked to provide an update on exactly where things stand, exactly where the negotiations are headed and in response Chuck Schumer blasted the Republicans for the delays with the Heels Act and by the way he sneezes <laughs> I thought that was funny and he said something very very interesting towards the end of this clip now I know my viewers my subscribers at ignition time are very very astute see if you catch exactly what he says towards the end of this video clip let's roll the tape yeah, well, first, the Republicans are, as you say, in total chaos. They've been in chaos for months, and that's why they couldn't put get their act together. And we're up to these cliffs where people lose unemployment benefits, may be kicked out of their homes, uh, don't have money to feed their folks, their kids. It's just a disgrace what their bill does. There are so many needs here. And here's the fundamental problem, Chris. This is the greatest economic crisis we've had in 75 years since the Depression, the greatest health crisis in 100 years. You need the government to help. But our Republican friends on the hard right say only the private sector should be involved, and the private sector, even on its own admission, can't solve this. So they end up with this horrible bill that favors corporate interests. How about this? They want to give a break, a tax break for the three martini lunch, but no more money for food stamps and people to feed their folks. They want a $30 billion cushion for the defense industry and no money, no cushion for people who are going to lose their homes. Uh, they put in there this boondoggle for President Trump, the $2 billion, so that he doesn't have to compete next to another hotel, and tell workers they should take a 30% pay cut even when they've lost, <laughs> excuse me, even when they've lost their job through no fault of their own. This is a giveaway to corporate interests. We Democrats are standing firm. We know the needs are real. We know the needs are deep. We know working people need help, and we are going to fight for the very strong and very bold uh, bill that the House passed called the Heroes Act. So I want to ask my subscribers and my viewers, did you actually catch that? Did you see what he said at the last second of the clip? He said, and I quote, we will fight for the very strong and very bold bill called the Heroes Act. Let's watch that one more time. We know the needs are real. We know the needs are deep. We know working people need help and we are going to fight for the very strong and very bold uh, bill that the House passed called the Heroes Act. Now next, Chuck Schumer was asked about the liability protection language in the HEALS Act because remember this is a very important piece specifically for the Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. He said that the liability protection component in the HEALS Act was non-negotiable. Let's listen to what Chuck Schumer had to say about the liability protection language in the HEALS Act. Well, Are, is, is, the, is the liability is protection language acceptable to you? Not at all. It is so extreme. You heard you said before what McConnell said. We don't think we need things not extraneous, uh, extraneous to COVID. You know what's in this bill? No medical malpractice suits till 2024, even if they're not COVID related. What it says is if a employer. Wait a really second. Wait a second. His, wait a second. Really? That's in the bill. Yes, it's in the bill. It's amazing. This is a K Street corporate lawyer wish list. And of course it's not going to pass. And when McConnell says no bill will come on the floor without this very extreme bill, maybe he doesn't want anything to pass altogether. But that would be, we Democrats are going to keep pushing to get something done well, because it's so important. But his bill is extreme to the nth. Next, Schumer was asked about how the two sides can come together because the two sides are so far apart. Remember, the Republicans have proposed in the HEALS Act a $1 trillion stimulus package and the, and the Democrats with the HEROES Act wanted a $3 trillion stimulus package. So they are very, very far apart. And he, he responded to that in, in terms of where the sides are. And again, he said something very critical towards the end of this particular segment. I want to see if my viewers and subscribers can catch it. Please comment below and let me know if you caught this. Let's roll the tape. 
Yeah, well, you know, obviously we don't have a majority in Senate and we can't pass it alone, but we have a lot of leverage and we're going to use it. We're going to fight hard so that state and local governments get the close to trillion dollars they need. We're going to fight hard so that there's heroes pay. We're going to fight hard for money for the post office. We're going to fight hard so that we give money so that there's uh, people can vote fairly and they can vote by mail and there are ample polling places. We have a lot of leverage and we ain't afraid to use it. Now, this was so significant. He said, and I quote, we have a lot of leverage and we ain't afraid to use it. So this shows that the Democrats are simply not backing down. Let's watch that again. We're going to fight hard so that we give money so that there's uh, people can vote fairly and they can vote by mail and there are ample polling places. We have a lot of leverage and we ain't afraid to use it. Now that sets the stage for a showdown. Schumer was also asked about what the priorities are for the Democrats. So he did talk about that a little bit in the next segment. And when he was answering that question, he made a rather ominous prediction about the presidency if the economy continues to go downhill. Let's watch this. We don't want people to lose their jobs, lose their businesses, not feed their kids. Of course we care. We have to. We're Democrats. We care about people. But that, but at this point in time, since they're in such disarray, the only people who may want things are the things who got those corporate wish list things in on the Republican side. We have leverage. And, you know, in the last three bills, the same thing happened. McConnell said, let's do very little. We Democrats said no. And they were forced to come back to the table and we got most of what we wanted. The person who should really want something to happen actually is Trump. Because if the economy goes to hell in a handbasket, which it will do if we don't pass anything, he's finished. He may be finished anyway, but he's certainly finished if that happens. Gosh, that is a battle. That is a face-off. That is a showdown. Schumer was also asked where the negotiations are headed and what's at stake, especially with the $600 a week federal booster, which has expired at the time you're watching this video. Let's listen to him. It would be laughable, except so, so much is at stake because people are hurting and need these benefits. People need that $600 for unemployment. People need help so they're not evicted from their homes. People need help so they can feed their kids, run their small businesses, and we're going to fight to get it for them. And finally, in this interview, Schumer was asked about the eviction moratorium, the extension of the eviction moratorium to help renters. Keep in mind that this does not exist in the first version of the HEALS Act and the Democrats want to push for this. Let's hear what Schumer had to say. Important, And what we've proposed is better than just extending the moratorium where people still owe rent. So if it's after three months, if there's a three month eviction uh, moratorium, you still owe three months. We have proposed $100 billion to help people who have lost their jobs, lost their income through no fault of their own, pay their rent. And remember, some of these, some right. of these landlords are big shots. But some are like in my neighborhood. It's a three-family house. The landlords, who the owners on the top floor, the two other tenants are on the other two floors. And they, they need money to help pay for the heat and the electricity. So we pay, we propose $100 billion, what is more than, ad, what is adequate, just right, um, that the experts say, to help people who have lost their incomes pay their rent so they're not evicted. So there you have it, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. This was intense. This sets the stage for a showdown, a face-off between both sides. And I'm hoping that they can come to an agreement fairly quickly because people out there need help. Now, I want to talk to you at the end of this video really quickly about why I do this. Uh, I'm a doctor of physical therapy. I, if you've seen my origin story, my video on this channel, I have a rags to riches story. I live the American dream. I believe I'm a symbol of American exceptionalism and I believe the American dream is alive and well. For me, this channel is my way of giving back to the community is my way of paying it forward because I believe I'm, I'm, I'm grateful for the United States of America. I love this country. I love its people and I want to help as much as I can. I recognize that we are divided. I recognize that we are in a lot of pain and I recognize that there's a lot of anger and there's a lot of discontent. There's a lot of frustration with the government and with the administration, with both sides. There's, there's frustration all around. What I want to do is try and help you make sense of this. I want to help you as much as I can and I want to help my fellow Americans. There, that's it. There's no hidden agenda. That's pretty much all, all there is to it. A lot of time, effort and money goes into this channel. There's a significant amount of investment that's put in to generate the kind of production quality that you see. There are sound editors, there are video editors, there are graphic designers. There are a lot of individuals that go into the production of this channel. And I only say that because that's a sign of my commitment to you because I want to make this channel a high quality channel with information that you can trust, with visuals that are pleasing to the eye. By the way, I know some of those bell sounds at the end can get a little much, but that's just part of our audio effects. And I actually think it's fun, but you know, let me know about that too. But overall, that's just, you know, that's just why I do this channel. I hope you folks are 
getting value. I really, really, really appreciate you all. I love my fellow Americans. I want to give back and I want to help. And I think I simply want us to make sense of all of this stuff that's going on, all of this madness that's going on at the time I'm recording this video. If you learn something new from this channel, please click like, please click subscribe and enable notifications so you get instant updates going forward. Now, if you want to get breaking news and alerts from us, please text the word, get your cell phone out and text the word ignition or text the word time because our channel is ignition time to 70,000. So get your cell phone out, text ignition or text time, either one of those words to 70000 and then you'll get added to our list. You'll also agree to a disclaimer which allows us to send you emails and you can opt out at any time you want. I release videos at 2 p.m. East Coast time most days of the week. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps. I'll see you in the next video of Ignition Time. Bye.